thing that inspired me to go into digital media was definitely the fact that I grew up with computers. Just growing up with them and learning how to use this amazing technology made me want to learn a lot more. There are a lot of reasons you can apply to digital. You can refine your skills. You really can. Like, I know it sounds like four years of tacking away at a computer is just, oh, I'm not going to learn anything. You definitely will. Experience helps. It does. And even if you aren't like a really techie student, if you're one of those like artsy people that even maybe just wants to learn how to draw digitally, I would recommend signing up for this. Digital Media One is Photoshop, Illustrator, and font, like creating. Digital Media Two, making a website is for the most part. Digital Media Three is mostly video. There's a little bit of photography in there. Digital Media Four is an independent study that I'm right now in, and like I'm currently working on making a marketing for a coffee shop where uh, the person that's also in there is working on animation. A lot of skills that I learned are learned various Adobe programs, Photoshop, Illustrator, all the fun stuff. Um, I've learned how to take criticism. I'm able to take it, harbor it, and then put out something better than it did. Fred is certainly very passionate about what he does. How do you describe someone whose sole purpose in life it's making you smile every day you walk through the door. He definitely is there for if you ever have any questions. Always ask questions. He'll, yes. he'll answer them. I am Mr. Greider. I'm the digital communication arts teacher here at Cab Calloway High School. So there's three parts of the assessment process to get into digital media. Um, the first part is a portfolio. The first section is the artist statement. And then after the artist statement is the finely polished pieces. You only need two of those things. Those things are uh, basically showcases of uh, why you want to come to this school. The uh, last part is just a sampling of other works that you might have had from other classes that you would like to show me and Mrs. Protokovich. Hi, my name is Jill Protokovich. I teach mostly English sophomore honors here, but I am also the teacher in charge of the high school creative writing program. When it comes to actually looking at the uh, narrative aspects of the writing portfolio, I'm looking primarily for your ability to tell a story. Do you understand conflict? Are you able to structure a plot so that the climax makes sense for the rest of the story? How do you use your characters? Um, do they evolve throughout the course of the story? Students must know how to first tell a story before they can visually conceptualize and show a story in terms of film. It's all about making what people don't pay attention to, but they do in a way. Their subconscious does. You're making film, and you're, you're, you're focusing on little things, exposure, light. You're doing graphic design, you're exposing, you know, shape and color. It's things that we see in our world all around us. We are creating the modern era. When you come in uh, for assessments, you'll be coming in right through the door. You have an hour to do this assessment. Um, you'll get a different prompt. There's three different prompts. And all those things are actually are on the web page right above me. The prompts are for your convenience, so you can assess in what skill area you feel that you are the most qualified to assess in. Those three things are photo manipulation, graphic design, and finally creative writing. You don't actually have to be afraid. You need to try your best. Don't be afraid to ask questions. Don't let anyone tell you that you can't do it just because you don't know how to do it but you can always learn how to do it. Digital media is a good place to learn. It's a good place to start.